both shores shouldn't see the greatest amounts. But residents still have to take precautions there and watch the coast. WBZ's Anna Myla reports now from the South Shore. You can see there is serious damage to some homes here in Situate from the last three storms. Now they're getting ready for round four. Twisted staircases, mangled porches, and piles of debris can be seen all along the streets by the Situate Lighthouse. You just go, wow, it's unbelievable. Very sad to walk around the point. They has, I think, sustained the most damage of anybody. The damage is from three consecutive nor'easters. Now there's another one on the way. Getting very tiring. Um, I think we both feel that we've aged about 20 years in the month of March. And think back to 2015, uh, February, March of that year, all those snowstorms in a row, that was pretty difficult. But this is a, uh, a lot worse, I think. The storms have been so frequent and so harsh, residents are even starting to lose track of them. Town officials are warning more power outages could be possible as the next nor'easter approaches, bringing more heavy, wet snow and wind gusts around 50 miles per hour. Can't get rid of it soon enough. We're hopeful that it's not as bad as it has been in the past. But, uh... <sighs> Uh, maybe this is the last one. There could be some minor coastal flooding with today's high tide at 3 p.m. and minor to moderate coastal flooding with the high tide tomorrow morning at 3 a.m. And now that this is the fourth nor'easter we've had this month, erosion is also a big concern. Reporting from Situate, Anna Myler, WBZ News.